Hey guys, Hi. Risque and Katrina Hi. here, and we're back to play more Detroit Become Human. So last we left off, shit was getting kind of dicey um, with Kara and Alice. Um, but yeah, so now we're Marcus again in this really nice, swanky-ass house. Oof. I would, if I looked like him, I would always be looking in the mirror. <laughs> Just all the time. Okay. I think. Let's head upstairs. Actually, well, hold on. I want to go ahead and make his breakfast first. Come on. That way it's Carl. there. Oh, yeah, and plus I forgot to turn on the, the bird. Have to turn on the bird. Turn on the birds. That's cool though. Right. Just let them be free at this point. <laughs> like, why do they need a cage? I don't understand why people put, legitimately just put their birds in cages. Right, that's why I couldn't have a bird, because it'd be just going too free. <laughs> I can't handle that. Uh, Plus they're loud. Dinosaurs. This looks like a nice ass breakfast, I can already tell. Alright. Sweet. Awesome sauce. That was sexy. That was so sexy. I want him to put me down like that tray. Oof! <laughs> that was hot. Alright, let's go wait, Carl. 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 Is that the male Carol? Carl. Carl and Carol. Carl. Yes, it is. It works so perfectly. I love it. I get, uh, this house is so pretty. Okay, that house is pretty fucking nice. Not gonna lie. Right? I would love to live here. Oh, it's just looking at the artwork. Gah. Gah. Oh, my feet are falling asleep. Oh, no. Uh -huh. I hate that feeling. Yep. Uh, that video will be posted when it will be posted. True. Yeah. Gotta trust the plan. Yeah, I I literally did everything. That video is literally just not posting. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. I wonder what's wrong with Carl. It's a good question. I don't know. Maybe it's just old. It's like he could be, but he also, like, doesn't look that old. Right, like, he looks like he's in his, like, 60s or 70s, honestly, to me. I wonder, I wonder if we ever see his birthday. Special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. 
the gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Beep, beep. Yeah, that kind of sucks that he I doesn't answer his own fan mail because he has his Android do it. <laughs> no, Carl. Oh, my ass. Oh, no. <laughs> no. It hurts. No, I don't bother. Oh, shit. I forgot Carl. <laughs> my bad, Carl. My bad. Damn. Oh, whoops. Ugh. Oof. Oh, his ass is nice. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I promise I'll stop objectifying him soon. Ish. I'm it's okay. starving. Me too. Well, your breakfast is Whoa. Ready. Bacon and eggs, just Jesus. the way you like them. God. <laughs> These controls are making me, like, throw Carl all around. Jesus That's Christ. That's hilarious. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. All right, so would you rather play the piano, play chess, or read something? Like he's, you know, Carl's trying to watch TV, so we don't want to play the piano. Okay. Um, he has a lot of books, so let's put them to use. So let's All right. read something. Let's read something. What would you like to read? Let's find, uh, find something else. Okay, you want to play chess instead? Television off. Oh. Man kind of so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Ooh, 5, probably the piano, then. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Duly noted. That worked out. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's do it. B, come here. B to B. What would you like to play? Uh, what does enigmatic mean again? That's like passionate, right? I think so. Oh, well, hey, going. Google. Oh. What does enigmatic mean? Enigmatic is used as an adjective to mean difficult to interpret or understand. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. So something kind of mysterious. Off. Let's do hopeful. No, thank you. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. So pretty. Alright, let's go to the studio. This is a pretty badass studio. Whoa! He must be a pretty successful painter to be this fucking rich. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. 
I love it. That's so cool. Let's see where we left off. Oh. Remove the sheet. Okay. Let's clean the studio up. Sounds good. <laughs> Going back to our mundane chores. Yay! <laughs> I love this game! Love this game! It has me doing all the things I do in real life. But no, I think things start getting really interesting soon. Okay, clean some of that up. Awesome. left. Oh, those are cool. I'm not even like a huge statue person. Those are cool. Hell yeah! I right fucking up. love art. Right? Art is so cool. Oh, pizza. Pizza sounds so good. Right. I just don't want to spend the money on it. Same. And plus, I don't even know if they're open. There are some there are some businesses out there that have the audacity. Right? <laughs> if that is one thing corporate America always has, it is the audacity. What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Would you like to paint a recreation of Carl's painting? Or would you like to paint the statue? Or would you like to paint the desk? Is there another option? No. Let's paint the statue. Okay. Sounds good. I don't know what direction that is. Oh, wow, okay. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas.
God. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, <laughs> it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Like, that's so heartbreaking. Yeah. Ugh. All right, awesome. So it all ends the same way, but there's so many different things you can do uh, during that part. Because there's so many different, like, like you can play chess, uh, read a book, or play piano, and then there are just even more things you can do within those options. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Like, there are so many different, like, types of paintings you can make. And it's so awesome. Like, I haven't even done any with involving androids yet. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. And I've played this game, like, way too many times. Oh. All right. Uh, beautiful. Yeah. November 5th, 1121. Guess who's back? Yes. Uh, hey, Daddy. Okay. Mm, right. <laughs> I mean, hey, even if he doesn't have a dick, he still has a tongue. We're very busy right now. <laughs> Alright. Actually, this is perfect. I can do this scene and then end it. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Let's do it. Can I see anybody's face? Too far away? Busy. Okay. Is Derek Myers, security guard, no criminal record. He was born in 1989. Edward Dempsey is an administrator. Damn, we would be like his age. Right, literally. Um, Christopher Gray, who was born in 83. He has a DUI. Oops. What's your problem? Probably shouldn't be in the bar then. Um, Jonah Graham, he is unemployed, no criminal record. I'm a drinker. Jimmy Peterson, business owner. He was born in 2001. What? Oh, God. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, who are you? Fuck you, dude. I heard that. Kim Johan, uh, he is a delivery driver, currently unemployed. That's harsh. He's born in 89. Oh, domestic abuse. Fuck you. Okay, sorry. That made me mad. Yeah. What the hell? Jesus. Maybe that is him. <sighs> Hank Lieutenant Anderson. Wait, Lieutenant Hank Anderson. He was born in 85. That's crazy. God. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. 
I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that, Jim? Wonders of technology. Make it a double. Homicide. All right, on that note, we're going to end this video here. I hope you guys hey. enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, and the best you don't miss an upload, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.